Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'll be tapping into Aries energy for your general reading for October 2024. And I'm just going to go with it. Um, usually I have a spread that I lean towards, and it might come in while I'm kind of just pulling cards. Um, I'm just going to tell you how I see, or what I see, and uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try to make it fit. Uh, if you hear any sounds in the background, the windows are open, and um, there are amazing dogs in the environment, so you might hear barking. Just a heads up for anybody who is um, easily triggered by sounds. Um, it's really beautiful outside and it's fall, so leaves are falling, and sometimes the leaves are falling like uh, in between the window. Um, seal that. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and tap in and see what comes through. To the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Aries, thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far, and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please let me be a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them at this time. All right, so there's, I'm not really that uh, knowledgeable about the stars in the sky, the placements of the planets, or uh, whatnot. Sometimes, yes, I am... I know that there's some stuff going on right now that are kind of giving us that choice to kind of decide what we want for ourselves and to be like honest in that transition, to be honest in the way that we make something happen because something else didn't. There's like this, uh, there's some sort of test or something that kind of pushed you to kind of doing something that's more on your immature side, like the, um, like the darker sides of your psyche that like, we don't want to like, uh, we, we want, we can't erase, but that we want to improve on. Um, something may had kind of hit a wall here with you regarding uh, something that either someone or other people are assuming is the way that you see things. So like people are acting off of what they think they are portraying in regards to certain vibes you're giving off about something. I don't know if it's like a subject or... It's how you're showing up in the world. It's like, um, there's almost like this clarity that's coming through, but also being challenged. But that's, if it wasn't challenged, it wouldn't be coming in, is what I'm getting. Like, you got the devil and the nine of voices. So, look, the hang muse, you're kind of in a space of. Wanting to believe, right? Wanting to have hope and faith. But for some of you, you may be like in a funk because something played out here that tested you. You may have like kept your composure, but it still resembles kind of like how you felt inside with your self uh, about whatever was happening around you. Um, with the devil and the nine of voices in reverse, it's, there's almost like, because of this test, you're able to kind of see more clearly about a bad habit or bad, and bad's not even the word, it's just like unhealthy, like it's not, it's, it's not uh, like relevant 
it, it won't be relevant for like where you're going, if that makes sense. Like the value of whatever this was in your life uh, was was lost. The val the it's it lost its value. It tested you. It lost its, it lost its value in in your world. Like how much weight you gave it, how much attention you gave it. Um. You may be being more clear here because you're you, you it seems like it's challenging like your sleep like your your sensation feeling that you have rested it seems like it's kind of maybe possibly popping up in you know like your your dream state i'm not sure if that's like nightmares or whatnot but there is some sort of like there's images that are coming in and being translated. Like when you look at it upright, it looks like she's receiving some sort of signal and translating it into the world around her. But she has to be tapped in into whatever is coming down, right? Whatever messages are being sent to her, whatever mission or purpose. And you see the character at the bottom. It's, it's something that is happening in the unconscious or subconscious, like in your psyche. Um, for it to be in reverse with the surrounding cards, I feel like there's this acknowledgement, this huge acknowledgement that's kind of pointing towards whatever has been making you feel delayed in, I don't know if this is all parts of your life or work or life or um, home life or... It, all I see is that this this month, I think I'm getting this is what you're coming out of. So if we were to put like a term to it, it does feel like some sort of past or recent situation. So maybe that's what happened in, in September or the end of September or the beginning of October for some of you. So I'm going to uh, kind of pull on your current energy right now. This will kind of help you confirm if this is your reading, if this is a reading that resonates with you. Spirit for Aries, where are they right now? What are the overall energies here that Aries is feeling at this time? Experiencing. So Aries, for the month of October, um, you may have possibly just made a final decision. If not, it does seem like you're moving into a space of kind of not giving up your values, not giving up your uh, parts of your authentic self, right? Not sacrificing those things for some sort of agreement. You want to play fair. You want it to be fair. Um, you don't want conflict. But there is something here that you need to make a, a decision about, whether that is about a whole situation or just like how you're seeing it or what you're saying or how you're like, what is your part in it? There's some information here that is around you that you're kind of possibly putting off or downgrading and it's like a little bit more important it like those types of messages are actually like really meant for you to look deeper into so if that's like an animal medicine or you think you are getting some sort of message you are um, but if it's not that for some of you it's just 
having to face a decision to avoid conflict because you're not going to give up your morals and values. So it's almost like if you're in a room and people are talking about something that is against your morals and values, I'm seeing that you're kind of keeping to yourself with the seven of voices. So some sort of decision here and information that you need to kind of be more open to see, at least see, you don't have to agree with it, but there is um, information here that will help you with some sort of clarity or direction or um, relief and you you are trying to avoid here competition you're trying to avoid kind of self-sabotaging yourself you're trying to avoid anything that kind of brings in that that thick uh, confrontational energy and that can be sometimes with just ourselves. And then we've got the hair font, so your morals and values, your like inner laws, you not giving up on those. Um, I'm gonna clarify these to kind of see why they're coming up for the month, since this is kind of like an overall energy. And then um, with the seven of voices, you're kind of keeping it to yourself. And I'm not getting like sneaky. I think what you're saying is you're keeping what you're saying relevant, but it's only it's based on what decision you make either way you're keeping something some stuff to yourself to maintain some sort of peace whether that's in the room or um you know like family friend what co-worker i'm gonna clarify those and see what kind of comes up Um, something that kind of pops up or sticks out here, Aries, for me, is this fire that's in the top of this description for the devil. Um, Aries, you're a very, very fiery sign, and I'm not talking about your full chart or defining you by this, um, but in regards to the fire that comes out in Aries when uh, they kind of reached a limit here, that test that where you might blow up or say something really fast or snap or there's like anger here because you are very, you feel like you're doing your part and trying to see things in all angles, but you still are very authentic and have like your own things that you're not gonna bend backwards for. And just kind of, translating this information that's coming in it's like you're in the process of translating it here moving into october and then october here spirit guides the universe for aries and um when i when i personally look up readings for myself i'll look up my sun moon rising and venus signs and that's convenient for me because i'm Leo Sun and then Libra rising Libra Moon and Libra Venus so I could kind of watch just two signs and kind of get it out of the way but for those of you who have you know, four signs or more um, at least on my channel um, I try to pull four Sun Moon rising and Venus in everybody's chart What's the two of voices here? What's like the type of information that Aries is possibly missing or the type of decision they need to make? And what's the information here? What are they kind of looking away from? There may be something here that's kind of testing, like when you are coming to the terms of needing to make the decision, you're kind of delaying it, possibly because you feel really vulnerable. Maybe you don't want to make decisions while you're like emotional. Um, with the with the judgment card here for the two voices, I feel like you're not necessarily wanting to communicate or make a decision when you're in the middle of feeling pretty. 
um, not weak, but vulnerable. Like you could easily be, you could easily make the wrong decision. So with the Queen of Wands here and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like the, maybe the information that is around you is about how like your part in showing up for your own stability that is affecting something in your environment or your environment or how you're seeing the world here. And it may be because you're feeling like overwhelmed. That may be why you're vulnerable. Maybe you just, you know, maybe you, whatever this test was really kind of uh, got you in a funk that uh, puts you, puts you in a space where you're kind of trying to delay maybe a major decision or it's hard to even know how you feel about something possibly. You don't know how to communicate what you're feeling if you yourself are trying to figure out kind of what's coming to the surface here. Um, for some of you, it may be a like mother or aunt figure or woman figure. If it's not an older woman, it's maybe a friend that um, can be pretty manipulative or intense here. And you're kind of making a judgment call. Maybe that's the decision that you need to make is this friend keeps testing you or, or, or I don't know. There's some sort of like call here. Like, should I distance myself from this person? For some of you, it might actually be a character versus your own energy. But I do try to pull just your energy. So in regards to the competition here, what you feel is conflict, what you are trying to avoid, spirit guides, what is Aries trying to avoid during the month of October? What's Aries trying to avoid here? Conflict. It's a conflict. Competition. Imposter to memorize the... Alright, so... You're definitely trying to avoid situations that you know trigger you, that bring the worst out in you, that you know will never come to an end or closure or an, like it won't exit your life. So I'm thinking it's more of like coworkers, if you're like set at your job or family, people that you kind of um, love, I mean, you still love and um, might see all the time or kind of like visit, have visit. Um, it could be just you trying to avoid when everybody's kind of, I don't, it, there's something here that's testing like your patience and it's something that you possibly can't really just like end. It's like pretty deep in, in your life. There's history or just your environment, like you, where you live, your towns, there's something like in regards to where you are every day. Um, with the hangman in reverse also in regards to the type of conflict that you're trying to avoid, you're trying to avoid like the same cycle or the same thing that you might have experienced recently here, the thing that kind of made you snap. For you to not snap, you're seeming to kind of like, uh, you're, you're identifying and like remembering, taking note of the types of situations that trigger you, that pull you out of your element, that um, really do test your nervous system here, that tests your knowledge and, you know, like that satellite we get when like uh, fact and logic try to come in. If we're really emotional, there's that test, with, there's that feeling drained, knowing what drains you. With the hair font here, your morals and your values. How is that going to play a part in October Spirit for Aries? How is the hair font going to play a part here in October for Aries? What about their morals or their values? What's here that they're kind of sticking to? And it might be... You know, you have the choice to walk away from family if you want, but with the hair font here, that is a priority of yours. That's an important, valuable thing in your life is family. So no matter how the relationship is, there's this loyalty 
um, to how you, like how you interact with them, what your goal is when you're around them. Um, that's it's important to you, and it's not something that you want to like completely cut off. Like you still believe in like the you know, being the student and the teacher in relationships and that being something that's like constantly evolving. Spirit, why else the hair font here for Aries? There may be communication like coming in that lines up with kind of how you see the world and like the scales you use. Um and this communication or you may be communicating right whatever's coming through you're going towards something here there's like a goal here with kind of your inner truth and with eight of wands it's like you may be traveling somewhere to communicate this truth or to prove this physically prove this truth with the knight of wands as well the ace of swords and the Knight of Cups, for some of you, you may be traveling to like propose or, or offer something here to create some sort of like a, a epiphany clarity moment. I'm seeing some of you like on your, on your knees, like begging for some sort of offer here with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. It's very, it feels like there's this inner truth connected to it. Um, but with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, this is like very, very, very like romantic and like dopamine high, like nostalgic um, for some of you. There's this uh, kind of, uh, for some of you, there may be two people here that are kind of competing for your attention that are kind of making themselves clear on how they possibly feel about you you may be delivering some sort of truth here, right? You may be delivering some sort of truth here too with these two people that are possibly uh, in your environment. I'm getting, it may be like romantic or like suitors here, but it's like, an, it, it's not an in and out energy, but like knights are, like they, the horses can only like run so far, so. It's like how much they bring to the table, I'm not sure. And I think you know, like they're not emperor status possibly. And you're just kind of, you are just focused on communicating your, your truth, no matter how new a situation may be, no matter how old the situation may be, you are expressing what you're feeling in that moment. With the Ace of Swords, I get like in the moment truth, you are being honest, being, being yourself here when you are communicating whatever you're communicating. Maybe saying no to both. I mean, this is for October. Um, if it's not romantic, you may be just really passionate about this, like, new truth that you've added to your morals and values like another limit you recognize another trigger you realized another thing you trained yourself to do to get out of some sort of trigger reaction something here that you you taught yourself regarding you verbalizing your truth like checking in being like up keeping people up to date or keeping like your environment up to date on your mood or what's important to you um, with the seven of voices here first thing i thought was what you'd be keeping to yourself or if you would be creating some sort of distance what's the seven of voices here for aries for october 2024 you're in your element, you're feeling, you're feeling, uh, in control, like, of what you're determined to do here, you are, I'm getting planning, there's more planning than, than actual physical movement, but with the Eight of Wands here, regarding, like, your morals and values, or, like, what you're saying is, 
act like there's action there there's movement there but in regards to like physical movement you got a king of wands here that's chilling right he's not like standing up and starting the plans the ideas that he knows are going to is going to work you're kind of maybe planning behind the scenes here and in doing that i see you kind of moving away from more immature energies that are within love or within your um, emotions here. Uh, what else with that? Spirit for Aries for October 2024. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I think you reach a limit here where you just know what some of the ideas you have just won't be heard. Some of the things that you bring to the table won't be appreciated. There's this understanding, this knowledge, this wisdom of knowing who you cannot truly work with, where you, you're very sure about where you know you are welcome, where you know you can even offer anything, and in what environments can offer you anything. There's this understanding and staying away from it but not being confrontational about it keeping that to yourself moving behind the scenes here and i'm going to pull some uh guidance here see if anything spirit has anything for you spirit guide universe for areas. what guidance or advice do you have We've got the devil and the seven of swords. So I'm going to read both from the actual book just because I feel like there's just always so much more that the author right, can really... <laughs> For this to be advice, okay? Aries, once you have shed light onto the darkness, the vampire will turn to dust and the hidden will take on shape and color as it emerges. Dare to face the unknown and observe it closely until you can decide how much of it to use and what to discard. So again, there's like this really sticking to what is important to you, making the decision to not sacrifice those parts of yourself. Your advice is already aligned with kind of how you're moving about the month with the Seven of Swords as advice as well. Aries, the advice from the Dolly deck. Reevaluate all that you take for granted. Take a break for an hour or, whole, or a whole day. Allow yourself to do something quote unquote foolish. See to your needs so that they may benefit yourself and others in the long term. Say goodbye to aims and ambitions which no longer serve you. Pay attention to your dreams and your life's wishes. So again, what's attached to this is really you respecting yourself. You've got this as advice and again as your energy showing up in October. So the guidance here, you already are pretty in tune with it. I think that's why you're so connected to your inner truth here. And knowing, maybe really knowing inside, this is not the time to make any huge decisions, but like little decisions um, in regards to, again, respecting your truth, how you're going to show up in the world, what you plan to do. All right, loves, that is what I have for you for now. And until next time, and always sending you love, Aries, you've got this.